So the case that I'm building is gonna go on this YZ250 that I've built. I've got a really awesome triple clamp on this. It already has some mounting holes and I'm just gonna reuse those. Um, and I, I really want the phone to sit right here on the triple clamp and it's, it's kind of a perfect angle. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any funky mounting techniques or anything like that. It's just gonna sit flush on this triple clamp. So it'll probably look pretty close to, to this right here. Um, and the reason I, I, I want it right here is because I'm gonna use this as my speedometer, the phone, as well as my GPS. So this is what I'm working with. I'll probably make two sizes, one for uh, my iPhone 6 and one for my iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, and we'll see how the 6 goes first because it's a little smaller. And then I'll see if I can squeeze a iPhone 7 Plus on this triple clamp as well. So let's get started. So I picked up some aluminum bar stock and it's, um, it's 14 inches by four inches by half an inch thick. I want the phone to sit inside of the, uh, the stock, but I, I want enough there to, uh, to channel a slot in here to put some O-ring cord and make it waterproof. So I got my stock here cut down. I don't have a bandsaw, so I had to do it with the mill. Probably wasting my bits, but oh well. Got to do what I got to do. So this is what I got to work with. So this is going to be the phone case. This is 1 16th cord stock. This is a rubber O-ring. That's what is going to go on the lid of this to waterproof the phone while it's on the bike. Taking material off of this piece, I like to get my zero actually on the metal itself. Um, a lot of people use the paper trick where they put a piece of paper here and 
and then they uh, find the zero. But I'm going to be taking the material off anyways. So I'll find zero on my DRO here, and then I'll move across the piece and find if there's any uh, difference in the zero. So I got it all finished up, so I'm going to clean up the edges real quick and then I'll uh, show you um, what I ended up with and the size that I have right now. So this is what I have so far. Uh, this is gonna be the end of part one. This is just me getting the right dimensions. Uh, in part two, I'm gonna be cutting out the actual uh, slot in which the phone will sit into. But to give you guys an idea, this is kind of what it's gonna end up being like and what it's gonna cover. So, um, So um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Click here and uh, you, can, you guys can watch the second video. Um, make sure you subscribe, check out some of my other videos and we'll have some more stuff coming at you soon. Talk to you later.